This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good morning. We're coming on with a major development in the investigation into the Orlando terror attack. Let's get right to our justice correspondent, Pete Williams, who is breaking exclusive new information in this case. Pete, what can you tell us? Lester, NBC News has learned that Omar Mateen's current wife, Noor, has told the FBI that she drove Mateen to the Pulse nightclub in Orlando on a, private oca a prior occasion and that she tried to talk him out of conducting any kind of attack. Several officials familiar with what she has told the FBI say that she was with him when he bought ammunition and a holster. They say she also told investigators that she drove him to the nightclub because he wanted to see it in advance, but that she tried to dissuade him from doing anything. Law enforcement officials tell us that authorities are considering filing criminal charges against her for failing to tell them what she knew before the attack. But they emphasize that no decision has been made about that. It's possible she won't be charged, but that possibility is under consideration. Several officials say she is cooperating with the FBI, with the investigators. Since the shooting attack, she's been staying at the home of Mateen's father, who lives in Port St. Lucie, Florida, Lester. We know that uh, she is his second wife. What else do we know about her personally? Not a lot. Uh, we know that she's from California. She's 30 years old. She is the mother of their uh, young son. You don't see his face here. We've blurred it out because of his age. But we don't find a record for them in uh, Florida for getting married. Uh, it's possible they were married in another state. It's also possible, some have said, that they were married in an Islamic ceremony, not a civil one, so there's no record of it. Is it clear whether the, the sources believe that she had specific intent uh, knowledge of his intent to attack that club or just a general awareness that he was going to try and attack somewhere? Not entirely clear about whether she had a good idea that he was going to attack the club or some other place. Uh, she, she has told him she also drove him to some other locations, but they're not at all clear that in those trips, in fact, were sort of casing trips, but it does seem pretty clear that she believed that the trip to the Pulse nightclub was such a visit. But whether she knew he was going to attack that club or whether she knew it was going to be a mass shooting or whether she knew he just had some evil intent, that's not 100 percent clear. But the point is she did think she, that he was up to no good and she was trying to talk him out of doing anything uh, that would be criminal. Do they believe she had uh, full knowledge of the weapons he bought and, and what his intent was with us? I don't know the answer to that. All right. Pete Williams, I know you'll continue to work developments in the story. We will see you back with a full report on nightly news. We also want to let our viewers know the president right now is meeting with members of his national security team to get an update on the battle against ISIS and the White House strategy against ISIS. We expect he's going to come out in about 20, 25 minutes from now and uh, talk to the press and perhaps give us more information on the Orlando situation. We will come back on the air uh, when the president appears. Again, full details in NBC Nightly News. For now, I'm Lester Holt, NBC News, New York.